So as you know by now, we have verbs in Spanish. But we also have a special class of verbs called reflexive verbs. And a reflexive verb is what someone does to oneself. All right, well, what does that really mean and how do we know what they are? Well, let's just give a few examples. So if we took the verb lavar, for example, that means to wash. But if we had the verb lavar say, that's a reflexive verb. And that means to wash oneself. So we can identify reflexive verbs when they're in their infinitive or their base form if they have the say. Reflexive verbs work in all verb tenses. So present, past, future, conditional, subjunctive, the perfect tenses, the commands. Today we're just going to work with the present tense. And what we need to know first are, what are our reflexive object pronouns? So if we go back to our box of six, when we are conjugating these verbs, we're going to need to use a may, te, se, nos, os, se. So let's use our example here with lavarse. So if I want to say, I wash my hands, well, let's start right here with this portion. And we want to say, I wash, we would say, lavo. And then we have to deal with the reflexive portion. So we come over here and we look at our reflexive object pronouns, me, te, se, nos, os, se. Well, which one is in the I box? That's going to be me. And we will place that before the conjugated verb. So me, lavo, and then my hands, Hands is manos, and we remember that that's feminine, probably learned that on the first day of class. And instead of saying my, we're going to say las, because we already know that it's a reflexive verb. You're already talking about your hands. Okay, well, how would we say he washes his hair? Well, we would start with our verb, lavar, lava. Then we have to deal with our reflexive portion, say, and it goes before the conjugated verb, se lava el pelo. And again, we don't say his, her, mine, we say el, la, los, or las. All right, well, se lava el pelo could be he washes, she washes, so to clarify, we might want to put L out in front. So L se lava el pelo. That is a reflexive verb. Let's look at another reflexive verb. Acostarse. And acostarse means to go to bed. And I want to say, I go to bed early. All right, well, start by conjugating your verb. And this one is a stem changer, O-T-U-E. So we would say, acuesto. And then we have to deal with our reflexive portion. And then we want to put in the yo box. So we would say, me, me acuesto temprano. But what happens if this comes after a preposition? For example, what if I said, tengo ganas de, I feel like going to bed early. Well, we know we need an infinitive after this, so we'll put the infinitive in there. Well, now what do we do with that reflexive portion? Well, we know we need a may because we're talking about what I want to do. And when we have an infinitive, we can go ahead and attach it right to there. I feel like going to bed early. So reflexive verbs, it's all about what you do to yourself or what one person does 
to oneself. You need to know your reflexive object pronouns and you have to memorize them. The third thing that you'll need to do is to go and find a list of reflexive verbs. You just have to memorize them. Lavar, not a reflexive verb. Lavarse, a reflexive verb, and we know that because it has the se on the end. Go out, memorize a few, practice some, and let me know how it goes. Suerte.